I was the same host as the comedy show earlier. Any of you here for the comedy show earlier? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. yeah. Who'd you like? Uh, the champion. The Becky. what? The champion? Becky. Oh, Becky. Yeah, no, she was great. Alaska Pride, I guess. I don't know. That's fucking cool. I was outside earlier when Becky was leaving. There was this girl who ran past me. She said, it's so cold out here, my pussy lips are going to freeze. She's still here somewhere. That's fucking awkward. What am I supposed to say to that? If I say anything, I'm pretty sure it's sexual harassment. So I was like, mm-hmm. It's a loaded statement. It is. A loaded statement. Jeez. So get a good look at me. I'm like 300 pounds plus. I look like I play World of Warcraft professionally, but I don't. And this is kind of a crazy story. Uh, last year, I uh, never, I just want to emphasize this, I've never played sports, ever, in my entire life. Specifically, I've never played baseball. And for some reason, I was put in charge of a minor league baseball team. And this is a completely true story, the Klamath Gems. Uh, <laughs> I had no idea what I was fucking doing. I had like 50 people who I was supposed to be in charge of in a baseball team, and I had never even run to first base in my entire life. I don't, the, the most exciting part of it, though, I will say, every night we had a fucking game. I had to go out and sing <sighs> Take Me Out to the Ball Game in front of every single fucking person at the ball club or at the park. And see, the thing is, I was supposed to do it with a whole bunch of kids, but none of the kids wanted to come out and hang out with a 300 pound dude that looks like me. So it was just very awkward. There was a story here and I don't remember what it fucking was. This is horrible. Are you ready? All right. I'm a person that uh, does stand-up comedy every once in a while. When you're doing stand-up comedy or bars a lot, that means you hear a lot of pickup lines. And there was this, this one in particular I heard. A person said, ooh, baby, is your name Butter? Because you go great on these rolls. <laughs> so of course, that's what I just use every time I go to a bar now. <laughs> it doesn't work. All right, folks, I'm gonna bring up your are you the only one that signed up for this open mic? Do we know? Fuck. All right, so <laughs> I'm going to bring up Matt, who's very enthusiastic about this open mic. Otherwise, I would have canceled it. <laughs> he brought props. He brought me a water bottle. So, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Matt. Or nobody. We don't really know who he is. Let's just see. You have ten minutes. We should get the people from over there. Good luck with that. <laughs> Give me a second. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Two feet. Let's count towards their ten minutes. Yeah, everyone. This guy can't even talk. Two feet. Five away. Two feet. Five away. Walk away whenever you want. Do your thing. Right now. Two feet. Five minutes. No, right now. Four or five minutes. Everyone's streaking, come on! Everyone's doing it. Streaking in the quad! We got a lot of people. Come over. Oh shit, you actually did get people. Come on! I am proud of you. You can't even do that. It's not a taco. Apparently. There we go. Do I need to do a mic check? Hey, there's seating over here for you, sir. Wait, this whole time I had a mic, I didn't even have to run over there. <laughs> hey, everyone. Where are you leaving? This, wait, this is a part of my 10 minutes, right? Uh, I can see from here perfectly. Okay. I'll be leaving. Start here. It's free. Uh -huh. It's free. Everybody it loves to laugh. Scary. Sorry. Scary. Scary. George, shut up. Yeah, 
I'm going to teach you how to sing. Let's start from the very beginning. The very good place to start. When you read, you begin with A, B, C. When you sing, you begin with So rain me. So rain me. So rain me. A deer, a female deer, ray a drop of golden sun. Me a name I call myself, far a long, long way to run. So a needle pulling thread, la. I know to follow so tea, a drink with jam and bread, and that bring us back to a dear. You know the words. Come on. A golden sun. Come on, somebody. A name I call myself. Ha! A long, long way to run. Oh, <laughs> pulling thread. I don't remember what order it goes in. <laughs> this is on the and bread. <laughs> a deer, a female deer, ray, a drop of golden sun. Me, a name I call myself. Uh, a long, long way to run. A needle pulling thread. I feel like I'm taking the mic. I'm surprised you're all still here. You don't have to be here. You don't have to be I missed the ending. Should I start over? <laughs> No! No! <laughs> I'm new here. Yeah. Have you guys ever seen the Jean-Claude Van Damme movie Death Warrant? Okay. Have you seen any Jean-Claude Van Damme movie ever? Yes. No. Okay. So, this is what we did here, this little sing-along, that was to get everybody just kind of, you know, back to like that childhood state of mind, the wonderment where you just don't have to think about anything. <clears throat> and aside from kids, Jean-Claude Van Damme as an actor is the only other person I've ever seen that has that. And Death Warrant is an example because there was a early 1990s trailer for it and it was like the standard like, Coming soon to a theater near you, Jean-Claude Van Damme. You know him from Bloodsport. You know him from Kickboxer. Now see the real Van Damme. And they build it up, and they're like, you know, he's going to be infiltrating a prison, and he's going to bring him down from inside. And then it cuts to him in the cell when he first gets there, and he's just, like, picking stuff up, looking at it. And he has this, like, shitting grin on his face, and you're like, Seriously? Is this in the movie? And his cellmate walks in. And he's like this tiny guy. And he's like, hey, what are you doing here? And he's like, hi, I'm new here. Which is where I got that. I love that so much. <laughs> my friend Thad at work showed me this clip. And I like run it through my head. Like meet people. And I'm like, hi, I'm new here. Just to say it. And so you have to watch the scene. I'll actually post it on the shared Google Photos album thing because you have to see it. Like, I don't want to ruin it, but I want to know how many takes it took because Jean-Claude Van Damme in that scene, like, this is his face. He's in a prison cell. He's supposed to be, like, first day in prison, and the cellmate walks in and wants him to, like, drop down to his knees and pay, like, whatever that means. I don't, I don't get how they do this in prison, but... And this is his face the whole time. 
like really like how many takes was that before the director's like okay that's your best okay i mean your motivation is you're in prison for life and you're smiling so i don't i don't know van damme so the other thing this made me think about is um how easy it is to mess with people just with simple things oh come in come in this is perfect timing did someone pay you to walk through as I'm saying this? No. Okay, I'll leave you alone. I said I wouldn't mess no, with anyone. Totally fine. Okay, thank you. Did you get a flyer? I two of them. Cool, you should give one to somebody else. You only need one. <laughs> he already has one. Oh, wait, you took his. Okay, cool. All right. So you, that wasn't mean, right? I wasn't like picking on you. I don't have my glasses on. I took them off so I can't see everybody very well. <laughs> It's the trick. So one of my favorite things to do, and you can do this, is from a distance, like if you're at work or something, and you see somebody, it doesn't even have to be somebody you know, you give them the wave smile, and let them, let them wave and smile back, and then you switch it to a scowl. <laughs> and it's best if you do it as they're walking towards you, because you can totally control that whole dynamic. Like, I've made people just stop dead in their tracks and be like, holy shit, do I owe him money? Like, what is, what is going on? Like, does he know? And like, people confess their sins to me because they feel so guilty. And that's all it takes. You just go from a smile to a scowl. So that was good. It's hard, you have to practice this. You just keep doing the smiles and scowls. It hurts. Smiling hurts, Andrew. It really does. How much time do I have? Am I supposed to? A minute? Okay. We're going to have to speed this along. I'm getting mixed signals in. <laughs> Another joke? Thank you. So kind. So this is a real thing. Um, you might have noticed I'm wearing this weird getup, which I kind of wear to work sometimes, so I guess it's not that weird. But... This is a concept, you look hot, want some water, that my friend and I came up with back like 12 years ago. And what it was is these bottles of water you have, we thought it'd be funny to walk around and talk in Swedish accents. It'd be like, hey, you look hot, want some? And when they look at you, be like, you want some water? And hand it to them, you know? So you're being kind of inappropriate, but you're also like walking that line. So when he had his his party before his uh, wedding, which was kind of like a bachelor party, but it was with his soon-to-be wife and her friend and our friends. We went to a bar called Bodegas in Missoula, Montana. And I dressed like this, minus the bear suspenders, which I didn't have. I really wish I would have had them. I love them. And we go to this bar, and I stayed in character as the Swedish guy. And... Uh, these aren't the original glasses, but they're about as close as I can find. And the entire time I walked around holding the bottle of water, acting like I was a salesperson for this new Vaughn water that's coming from Sweden. And to the point where one of the guys was so angry at me because he thought I was faking it, he like threatened to kick my ass. And I was like, man, I don't know. I just want to bring you water, you and your friends. And he got so mad and finally he's like, are you bullshitting me? And I was like, I don't know this bullshit. I don't have bulls in Sweden. And he's like, man, are you really Swedish? I'm like, yes, I'm really Swedish, man. And he's like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I felt like such a jerk, but I had to keep going with it. So from then on, he would like walk around and like, I think he still is skeptical, but he kept walking around kind of like seeing if I talk in like a normal voice. I'm intentionally not doing the voice now because it's terrible. Like, I don't even know if it's a Swedish voice. <laughs> but my, <laughs> I've kind of done it. Like, it's just like the, yeah, you like water, yeah. <laughs> just mumble a lot. But my favorite story, and it's almost done. Like, do I have like a good solid 60 seconds left? Okay. So my favorite story is I had my friend Josh, who's going to get married our friend Jesse, and they're both there, and they're walking around trying to figure out what I'm doing, what I'm gonna say next, and I walk up to get a drink, and there's these two girls sitting at the bar, and they're looking at me weird, and I'm like, oh, yeah, that's probably why. 
And they start asking me questions, so I have to stay in character because that guy is just like spotlighting me from the bar, and he's just waiting for me to screw up so he can come kick my ass. And I'm like, yeah, you know, we're doing this uh, this water thing. We're bringing water to America. And these girls are like, what are you talking about? I'm like, you don't have the Vatten we had in Sweden. And I just keep laying it on really thick. Well, what happens is I tell them that what I'm about to release in America is the Vatten video. And Vatten is water in Swedish. Like, literally means water. That's what Vatten is. But it sounds really fancy and it's fun to say. And I tell them we're, we're releasing this interpretive dance Vatten video. And no one else has seen it but me and my friends here, but I want to know if they'll watch it and let me know if America is ready. So, with the help of the lovely Rochelle, I would like to show you what I did for these people 10 years ago in a bar in Missoula called Bodegas, which I think I still know people who are there. This is what I did. This is the whole thing starting right now. Eagle's Wings. And those girls did not know what to do. And so <laughs> I spent the next 10 minutes sitting there and interviewing them about what we need to change so America's ready for Vaughn. And they were so kind, but they did not want anything to do with this. They wanted nothing to do with it. And it was one of the funniest moments of my life. And I'm glad I could share it with you. Thank you. Woo! You should pick that up. <laughs> Matt C, everybody! Matt C! And Rochelle? Rich Rochelle. Rochelle. Why didn't you give a shout out to your person on stage, buddy? I introduced her. I said, the All right. Rochelle. Good call, good call, good call. All right. How much no. of that did I just do in my head? Was I just saying they're silent? No, not at all. <laughs> no, you did a great job. Give it up for Matt again, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on stage, second time ish. By the way, here's a drink token. You earned that. Microphone. I don't yeah. You missed, but it's over there for you. Is it a real token? It was. <laughs> I'll give you another one if you can't find it. Okay, so there's one other person who wanted to do the open mic. This is his last opportunity.